What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, my voice may sound a little bit hoarse. I've been going crazy this weekend from CM Punk returning, from Brock Lesnar returning to uh, NXT, having one of the best matches all weekend in Walter versus Dragunov. One of the best matches. Definitely made me mark out. If you haven't seen that match, go check it out. 10 out of 10, in my personal opinion. But... We have to talk about one of the low points of this wrestling weekend. You know what it is. It's arguably one of the lowest points in probably Bianca Belair's clear career, in my opinion, and how they did her. Bianca losing the Women's SmackDown Championship in like maybe six seconds, seven seconds. It's her being squashed in front of 50,000 plus people in attendance uh, at SummerSlam this weekend it was disgusting. It was messed up. And the reason why I say that is because it negates everything that she did, that Sasha did, main eventing WrestleMania. It negates her entitled tire reign, her feud with with Bailey doesn't matter none of that matters because Becky comes back automatically gets gifted a title opportunity and she squashes Bianca and you know it's bad if you watch the live stream of SummerSlam on the Inner Clutch page the homies was like oh okay they didn't know who Becky Lynch was but they, they saw the pop they saw my reaction. Then they saw the match. And then they were like, that's it? Wait, what? That's that's what they doing? They were excited. They were hyped for Bianca and Sasha. They wanted to see that match from the promo package alone. Then this happened. And they were just like, wait, what? Huh? How is that? How is that fair? That, the match is over? Like, bruh, I'm sorry. That was just bad booking. And it really destroys Bianca Belair. Character wise. It destroys her. Because I want you to understand. From their point of view. They don't watch the product as much as me. From their point of view. They just saw someone. Get destroyed in 6 seconds. So what makes you think. They're going to care about her anymore. It's like well she just lost. Her championship that she had. For since WrestleMania, and then she lost in like six seconds to somebody. They came back. Why should I care about her again? Exactly. This is the issue I have with WWE's booking. They they want to create moments instead of sometimes going for the logical approach. If you wanted Becky to return, that's fine. In fact. They really made a mistake on promoting the Sasha match. Even when they found out she wasn't going to be involved, they should have made some type of announcement. That's what they should have did. Pulled an audible. Do you think people were not going to show up because that match wasn't happening? No. People were still going to show up to see SummerSlam. SummerSlam. What they should have did... If they were going to have Carmella go out there, they should have announced it. Of course, people were not going to care as much. But this is how they, they could have swerved everybody. They announced it. Carmella gets squashed as she should because she shouldn't even be nowhere near the title picture, in my opinion. I mean, granted, they do need rest more female wrestlers. But Carmella in the ring, she's okay at best, in my opinion. But we've already seen that feud over and over and over. We're done with that. Between Carmella and Bianca. After the match. Maybe Bianca. Is talking her trash. Feeling some type of way. Or whatever. And then all of a sudden you hear Becky's music hit. Crowd instantly pops. Becky comes out. They have a stare off. St you know stare down. They have a stare down. And then Becky is staring at the title. And they talking they trash in the ring. And that's how you set the program 
for Becky versus Bianca. Bianca still looks strong, and everybody wins. Everyone, uh, Becky gets her moment. And then that's it. You can build it up on SmackDown, right? Cool. But instead, you have her come out there, beat up Carmella, then challenge for the title, and then get a title opportunity, and then beat her in like a couple of seconds, six seconds. And have Bianca just looking distraught, walking back up the ramp. Now, I've been seeing reports that they're going to turn Becky heel, which I'm okay with. It makes sense. Seth is a heel on SmackDown. Becky being a face would be cool, but you kind of want to have them in the same wheelhouse character-wise just in case they do interact with each other. So turning her heel is cool, but turning her heel at the cost of, of your future, of someone that people are trying to get behind, that doesn't make sense. You can still turn her heel without doing what you did to Bianca Belair. I'm sorry. Anyone that excuses this, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to have to disagree with you. This does not make sense. Even if you're going to turn Becky heel, it doesn't make sense. Because even if you turn a heel now, oh, well, we, she get a title opportunity. You know, she comes back. You know, I'm the man, so I can do whatever I want. It doesn't negate the fact that Bianca lost to her in six seconds. Now, it will be different if Becky came out there. <clears throat> Damn, my voice is shot, bro. I was going crazy this weekend. But it will be different if Bianca came out there and... Not Bianca. Becky came out there and attacked Bianca. That would be different. That would, that would, that would create some intrigue with people. Like, oh, shit, she turned heel. What the fuck? Okay, if you're going to do that. Or you can wait till they actually have a match or start turning your heel slowly but surely to build up their match at the next pay-per-view. There's ways to do it without squashing Bianca. That's my only thing. She got squashed. Simple as that. It reminded me of Brock and Kofi. We knew Kofi wasn't going to lose, but we thought he was going to put up a better fight. Nope, he got squashed in like seven seconds. I was like, whoop. And he's never been the same since mid-card tier tried to go for the wwe championship and at least they made it made sense like he got squashed but it was more so he tried to put up a fight but he just couldn't got his ass beat kofi literally lost in like one move the f5 boom he was done i was like bro that's dumb so i'm really disappointed in wwe on that i feel like they're booking decisions don't really take into consideration of how that person's character is going to come off on screen on television because i can tell you this now bianca no matter how much people love her she's not going to be the same after this bro unless they completely do a character change and she like goes away from tv for a while when she can't because they need her in a division be honest with you. She's not going to be the same, bro. Unless she goes out there and, like, brutally attacks, like, um, Becky Lynch, which would turn her heel. That That's the only way I can see them salvaging this, this botchery, in my opinion. But even then, it's still one of those things where it's like, we know Becky can beat her. Beat her in fucking six seconds. So, does it really matter? I don't know, bro. I just... It just, I don't really care too much about Bianca no more. Because they have done that. I think she needs to go to Monday Night Raw. She needs to go to Monday Night Raw. She don't need to be on SmackDown, bro. Because if Becky loses to Bianca, then they'd be like, what was the purpose of her dropping it in six seconds? For a quick moment? Like, that's, that's dumb. So, she needs to go to Monday Night Raw. They can use her on Monday Night Raw. And maybe she can get some some better views out of that. She needs to go to she needs to go to Monday Night Raw, in my opinion, to salvage her character. So, but comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree with me on this? On my sentiments to the situation. Do you guys agree that 
WWE definitely did Bianca Belair dirty in this situation. And they really dropped the ball on her momentum and her character. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys agree. And what would you guys have done better in this situation to get Becky to return and have uh, Bianca look strong in the situation? You know, in the same sense. What would you guys have done better booking-wise in this situation? But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. God damn. My voice is gone, bro. I can't even do my outro. I am so sorry if y'all had to listen to my horrible voice. I literally... It's just gone. I gotta stop turning up. I gotta stop getting so excited during these wrestling live streams bro it is fucking destroying my voice i'll see y'all next time god damn